Forty engineering students at the University of Maryland are soaring to new heights with a human-powered helicopter. CTV's Molly Navola is in Landover with the story. This is the Gamera 2. Powered by human energy, the students at the University of Maryland Clark School of Engineering have been working on the project since last year. It's a remodeled version with improved transmission and a cockpit redesign, and it weighs only 76 pounds. This is a project where we're trying to hover a helicopter using only human power. And uh, there have been successful uh, fixed wing aircraft that have flown, like Daedalus. But this is the very first uh, human power helicopter that has actually flown for more than 60 seconds. I work with the pilots and I tested them to make sure they're putting out the right power to weight uh, ratio. Um, I coach them while we're inside the the, the cockpit itself. Today we're going to be trying to break 10 feet and stay in the air for 60 seconds um, simultaneously. We've almost done both individually, so putting them together is going to be a real challenge. I was the pilot for the um, eight-foot test flight that we did on Tuesday, so it was it was unique and a little scary. That bicycle wheel, it's a flywheel that helps to sort of keep the power transfer even, so it's a little bit easier for the pilot to keep pedaling. With this project, it was sort of something that they needed someone who is, you know, light and relatively athletic for, which, I mean, I sort of fit into that pretty well. I mean, if the engineering school had, you know, other projects with human-powered experiments and things like that, I mean, I'd be glad to do it. I think that level of creativity and innovation is probably, to them, the best thing they can possibly learn. They're, they're building it, testing their ideas, and coming and flying it, and improving out all their ideas in a real aircraft. So these students have been working on this project, like I said, for three and a half years, and it culminates hopefully today in a, cel a celebration is what I really would like to see. What I want them to take away from this is that anything is possible if they put their minds to it, and that engineering is truly an art form, and that by really working diligently, focusing, improving your system, tweaking it to the level that they've done their work here, that they actually can achieve a prize that people said was impossible. So they're going to make the impossible possible. And that's what I say, you're going to make your, your own dreams come true and you're going to be very proud of it. Tuesday, the team managed a 65 second flight, staying within that 10 square meter area and reaching an elevation of eight feet. They do need to hit that 10 foot marker for the prize. All in all though, a major accomplishment for the school as they attempt something that's never been achieved before. Reporting in Landover, Molly Navola, CTV News. And two other teams at schools in Toronto and California are also going for the record.